Although she was mute for 10 years, she was able to learn a new language. After 10 years of isolation in the French wilderness, LeBlanc had lost her ability to speak, however. She also learned how to read and write. Her body adjusted to her unforgiving conditions. After the villagers captured LeBlanc, they were struck by her abnormal appearance. Her skin was black, she wore a dress made of rags and animal skins, and her head was adorned with a gourd leaf. While the palms of her hands were small, her fingers and thumbs were unusually large. Some believe her hands may have grown in size to accommodate her propensity for scaling and swinging among trees. She was actually Native American. Although the French villagers believed she was white because of her fair skin, according to modern scholars, LeBlanc was actually Native American, specifically a Sioux. Prior to her time in France, she resided somewhere near what is now Wisconsin. At the age of seven or eight, her skin was painted black, and she was sold as a slave to a French woman. Some sources claim that the vessel taking her to France shipwrecked, and after she and another girl washed ashore, they were forced to resort to feral measures in order to survive. LeBlanc lived undiscovered in the French wilderness for over a decade. When she was forced to eat cooked food, her teeth fell out. Her lead lamp was discovered by the villagers in Song a hospital in Chalons. After a period of adjustment, she was baptized and given a name, Marie Angelique Memmi Leblanc, by the Roman Catholic Church. When doctors attempted to change her diet from raw meat to cooked food and wine, she not only became extremely sick, but her teeth fell out. Although she eventually recovered, she was never perfectly healthy. She killed a bulldog in self-defense. Villagers spotted Memi in one of Songi's adjacent orchards in 1731. For unknown reasons, they sent a bulldog to approach her and bring her to the village. The feral girl, frightened by the unfamiliar creature, defended herself, dealing the animal a fatal blow to the head. She then climbed a tree, leaped between the branches, and escaped into the woods. Following this audacious display, Monsieur Depinay, a Somni nobleman, demanded that she be found. Though sources differ on her age upon capture, she is estimated to have been between 10 and 18 years old. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.